So, I, I guess my question is, is without having the utility cost, we don't know the true number that we're getting for the rent. I, I mean, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be in this argumentative here, and maybe I am, but I, I look at these things and I know what previously has been discussed, and that's why I was com not confused, I had to ask the question on the hanger, because when I read these at home, I don't see what's in there now. And if we're paying, if we're getting, say, $1,500 a month, $18,000, $600 for the year, what is the heat and the lights and the cost of those figures? We should know that. I mean, does it make sense or not? Tell me, it doesn't make sense. Tell me about it. The contract doesn't tell the board members what, because if we're passing a resolution and it's costing us, you got down here on so much a month, and we're paying on six hundred dollars for heat and lights and stuff. Heat well, it should be spelled on the in, in, in the things that we're passing. See, I remember a motion, uh, at least, that we did, and sitting in this very room eight years ago. I remember it very well. And I remember going, that's good, is when people said, we'll pay our own gas bill and our own lights. And we just backed away and said, that's fine. That was the greatest news we could ever hear. They would have no control of how they were going to burn the lights or burn the gas. So when they said they were taking them, we made sure that that was a good deal. So that's all I'm saying. All right. <laughs> this is the whole building. Is that true? That's 
that's a whole other thing, and then they want to play in the other part. Thank you. Basically, right now, let me ask you this question. We get $18,600 for the rent. Yes. Okay. And what? Well, and then you're back home. What made this cost to cost you? Right? Yeah. Separation from the footnote for whatever component you're going to spend your know, space. Second. Third one. Third of the motion. I second. Yeah, we can change that. Okay, now we'll move to the.
Well, I think you're going to get a general idea what to do with the weight. Motion number to approve. Oh my God. Sam made the motion. Have a second. Then I'm seconded. it. All in favor, so we're over saying aye. Aye. Vote. Any questions? Motion to approve. Do we have control of what the what, what he does? No. Um, plant corn, wheat, wheat rye. The question I have is, uh, I the transport there. 33. How is that transported? Yeah. 
comes apart. It's just two pieces or something. It's not a one piece. It's not a one So we don't know yeah. if that's really, that's an eyeball figure 5,000 or it's a uh, whatever. Obviously, the piece of machinery, I, 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 you know, I just said, okay, I, I appreciate saying that. The other part is, I think you answered the question, is I'm paying for something, I know what to get left. I know what I'm going to receive it, and it's fully functional. Everybody knows how to transport this and what they're going to do. So that's what my investment is, my investment. Okay. I mean, that's what I want to do. Like I said, $5,000, I mean, there's a lot of money. Maybe it is a lot of money, depending on what the yeah. circumstances I respect that. Thank you. Basically, the company that you're purchasing this from is taking care of the transportation of this piece of equipment. So when we move this piece of equipment then from down the main, is that where it's coming from? <coughs> we want to make sure it's covered by insurance. No. I know. Because, you know, if this thing tips over or we have over with that's right. So, you know, we're paying 75000 to the company that's got to compare in $5,000 transfer. I'd really have to pay the cover, have to cover for the trip. It's worth the money. I mean, how many hundreds of miles is it being to here? It's an hour drive. If it's a part of the man to volunteer. Shorts on this piece of equipment because it looks like you're going to give them seventy five thousand dollars, and then we're going to have them put on a truck, and we're going to pay that guy five thousand dollars. But if he gives them a wreck between here and there, mm -hmm. for whatever reasons, you know, yeah. Uh, now who's going to go up and inspect it? You, Steve? Probably. Okay, that's what I'm saying. All right, well, I didn't know who was going. I was saying, don't send me, because I wouldn't know if he was working late or not. I really wish you had it. I really wish you had it, you know, after the company. And when they did, also the transportation through the company. Because if it gets here, and it doesn't matter. That's right. We're giving them a check. Okay. And then go pay the truck and company. Transfer the money. 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 Transfer we don't own it until it's here at the port. I think that's something you should consider. I mean, we'll pay for the transportation part of it, but I think the company, that one company, should hire who they want because, you know, something could happen here. And you know, the company, the conveyor is going to say, hey, it's your problem, not our problem. It's not our problem, it's your problem. So. We'll, we'll approve the resolution as written and, and, and go. Basically, on the record, the $5,000 transportation be worked out 
with the company that we're purchasing from deliver to the court. Let them handle it. Watch the piece for the trip and transportation here. I'd still like to see the company that we're buying it from that do the transportation. Here we go. We'll pay the five thousand dollars. Well, this is a second-hand vehicle. You can see that it really works. The guy works So why don't we just table this motion then until you go and look at it and make sure you and Steve want it. And then you can talk to them about transporting it and make sure it's 80,000 to do that. Deliver it to them on it ASAP if you get there and you do not want it. Thank you. 
get up there and, yeah, and you get up there and say, this is, oh, well, I don't think so. Well, then we got to come back, and then we got to take the, the resolution and rescind the resolution because the visual, after you got there and stuff. Now, I have no problem buying this conveyor, but, uh, you know, I missed this at the facilities committee uh, with Buffalo. I thought it was new. I didn't know it was a second piece, piece of equipment someone else has bought. It never was used, but they bought it. We don't have the factory warranty on it now. We don't have a lot of the things that goes with the bells and whistles on it. That brings a flag up to me, because I, I'd rather spend another $20,000 and have a full warranty for five years. Uh, yeah. You could put 40 into it overnight. If it didn't work for them, it might not work for us. But I don't think the resolution needs to be passed until we know we're going to buy it. You can go up there and look at it, and if it's what you want, it will pass the resolution. There are no guarantees of nothing on this. No, but you have no guarantees of nothing on this way. Nothing. <laughs> Once he comes with it. Follows cars someday. Yeah. Okay. If I buy a, a 2009 Chevrolet truck and we're still in the country, how do I get it? Gentleman down there. 
I don't think we're going to see any American soil in here. But if they were to bring the sound into the railroad, they already have a contract for the person to want to use. I think you don't want any kind of permanent structure about that.